Welcome. Hello, my name is Sally Ma. And my name is Eddie Kim. We are from the Hill International School in Korea. Today we'd like to talk about the Euler's theory, which is a branch of this Greek mathematics. In the first part, we will talk about the bridges of Queensburg. Then we will talk about the Euler's graph theory. Lastly, we're going to talk about the graph theory in real life. The theory originated in the German city of Queensburg while solving the problem of deciding where to build a bridge over the Perkel River. The question was whether he could cross the seven bridges exactly once and return to his place again. People made great efforts to solve this problem, but it was not easy. Meanwhile, a German mathematician asked this problem to the Swiss mathematician Euler. Euler confirmed that the Pregel River is separated by seven bridges and the Pregel River stem and made a graph model similar to the shape. Euler thought that the shape of the land or river had nothing to do with solving the problem of the Prinzenberg Bridge. Let's go back to Euler's simplified graph form. Is it possible to cross all bridges at once? Euler's answer? No. Why can't I draw a linear graph of the Kuttenberg Bridge problem in one brush drawing? According to Euler, the Kuttenberg Bridge problem became a problem of single brush drawing. Let's find out more about Euler and a single brush drawing. Let's take a quick look at the mathematician Euler. Euler was a Swiss mathematician, physicist, astronomer, geographer, logician, and engineer who founded the studies of graph theory and topology and made a pioneering and influential discoveries in many of the branches of mathematics such as analytic number theory, complex analysis, and infinitesimal calculus. He introduced much of modern mathematical terminology and notation, including the notion of a mathematical function. He is also known for his work in mechanics, fluid dynamics, astronomy, and music theory. According to Euler's theory, let's think about the following problem together. Can we walk on land and cross all the bridges exactly once? I try to show the figure as a simplified graph like Euler did. Like Euler, each point is represented by a box and each bridge is represented by a line. <coughs> Since there are seven bridges, there are seven line connecting points which are A, B, C, D, and E. So if we present this figure as a one brush drawing, it is as follows. The order will be D, E, C, D, D, C, A, B. Since the shape was possible to draw with one brush, it is proved that all bridges can be crossed by crossing the bridges only once. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, follow the red dot shown in the picture. It is possible to cross all the bridges exactly once. Looking at these two simplified graphs discussed above, the simplified graph of A was impossible to cross all bridges at once, but the simplified graph of B was possible to cross all bridges at once. Here's why. Looking at this figure, it is made up of five vertices and six lines. Point A is connected by two segments, and point B is connected by three segments. In a plane figure, if the number of lines connected to a vertex is odd, the vertex becomes an odd point. And if it is even, it becomes an even point. This shape has two odd points and three even points. Euler found that any shape with zero or two odd points could be drawn with one brush, regardless of the number of even points. This is because a one brush drawing starts and ends at the different odd points. Therefore, this figure can be drawn with one brush. If the number of odd vertices equals zero or two, we can draw it without lifting the pencil. If the number of odd vertices equals four or more, then we cannot. Then let's find out which shape has a single brush drawing in the pictures around us. Which of the following pictures can be drawn with one brush? Since figure one has four odd points, it can't be a one brush drawing, but numbers two, three, and four has zero or two odd points, so it can be a single brush drawing. So now let's look at Euler's theory. Euler's theory includes Euler's circuit and Euler's path. Euler's circuit and Euler's path are divided 
according to whether the starting point and ending points are the same or not. Euler circuit is an Euler circular path that passes through all lines exactly once, with the same starting point and ending point where there are only even numbered points in a plane figure without odd numbered points. We drew some examples of Euler circuit. In this shape, we start from point A, and we end in point A. In this shape, we start from point E, and we end in point E. These two figures have 10 even points, so it is a sort of Euler circuit. Euler's path is a path that has two unnumbered points, so the starting point and ending points are not the same, and each line is passed exactly once. Let's look at some examples of Euler's path. These two figures are the examples too. They have 10 even points and two odd points, and the starting and ending points are the difference. If we draw them, the first figure starts with point I, and ends in point K. And the second figure, it starts with point G, and it ends in point C. Euler's one brush drawing is very useful in our daily life. Let's find out what it is. Search engines such as Google let us navigate through the world wide web without a problem. When security is made to search a specific set of words, the engine looks for websites that match the query. After finding millions of matches, the engines rank them to show the most popular ones first. One of the most popular applications of graph theory falls within the category of flow problems, which encompass real-life scenarios like the scheduling of airlines. Airlines have flights all around the world, and each flight requires an operating crew. Personnel might be based on a particular city, so not every flight has access to all personnel. In order to schedule the flight crews, graph theory is used. The last one is subway lines. Subway lines may not display all the features in cities as people would like, but they are very useful. Physical location on sub subway lines is not really important. The most important factor is the way the subway lines are connected. So, passengers plan to move from one station to another. Based on graph theory, each station is represented by a point and the road is represented by a line. We went over how graph theory came to life from a simple mathematical puzzle. Now we know the main characteristics of the field and the main problems that can be solved using graph theory. There are about one million real-life problems that can be solved with mathematics with help from other subjects. We came to pull, uh, we came to Poland from Korea with excitement. Now I'm going to see a map of Poland here. According to Euler's theory, we're going to start. Uh, we're going to find the best route on the map. Do not forget that mathematics is always with us. Thank you for listening.